Okay, firstly, um, first of all, I'd like to thank to BIS uh, for, inv uh, for invitation for me to come here to present about the Arab study in Vinmage Hospital. Uh, this study is supervised by Professor uh, Din Soren Tuan, and um, we, we analyze uh, with the cluster analyzing of the exhaled nitric oxide in, in our patient, in our clinics. Um, this is study is quite unusual. And but the channel of study now is unsupervised. Without we don't we don't we don't um, we didn't uh, hypo uh, we we didn't set up the hypothesis hypothesis for the study. We just only uh, analyzing with the cluster using cluster, and we we try to know rather uh, the real problem in the real world study. Um, what? Oh, no, it's not working. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, as you know about the uh, phenol and um, uh, nitric oxide, because nitric oxide is an airway biomarker for the inflammation. So uh, normally they, they, they have been tested for um, asthma and, um, okay, thank you. Oh, it's okay, it can work, okay, so. So with with the with the phenol we we have uh, we have we we have um, uh, uh, nitric oxide from the airway uh, plus uh, from the 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 um, uh, uh, from so yeah sure sorry about that um, because uh, phe uh, phenol is uh, that from uh, 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 the the equation here sorry the equation here you can see the phenol uh, does. Uh, uh, NO from the airway and NO with the key um, CANO here from the 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 yeah uh, from the uh, alveola. So we can we can see here the uh, the the graph and we we have a, uh, here uh, corresponding for the uh, uh, journal further from airway and we can uh, here here with the slope. Uh, so that is CANO and we have uh, the phenol. So, um, yeah, and look at this, this uh, curve we can see. And normally we uh, measure the, the phenol at the, uh, the flow of the 50 uh, milliliter per, uh, per uh, second. Yeah. And uh, look at this. Uh, we, we already know about the, 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 the roles of the phenol in asthma. And, uh, but normally we only... We, we, we only have a result from the K-control study with a normal patient, with the asthma patient. So uh, we, we have different average for the, our study. And come back to the roles of the phenol in asthma, we can see here for the asthma diagnosis, we, we, with the high phenol, we can confirm the, uh, the, the diagnosis with asthma with some uh, suspected symptom and some, uh, it's not a, a typical symptom and with the normal uh, lung function test. And for the specific symptoms, we, if we have a high phenol uh, and uh, plus with the, 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 the uh, atopy, we can confirm that asthma. And with a normal phenol, we, we cannot rule out, but we have to find another uh, symptom, another um, factors can help you to make the diagnosis for the asthma. And next, for asthma management with the phenol, we can, we can use phenol to, to predict uh, the response to corticosteroid for the patient with asthma. We can follow up the patient with the, we can adjust the dose of the corticosteroid, inhaled corticosteroid, and we can predict uh, the risk of the asthma excited patient based on the phenol measurement. So very useful for, for phenol in asthma. So here we have a lot of things in asthma, but here today we just focus on the phenol. But um, yeah, but in the real world, it's not only asthma. It's not only definitely asthma and normal patient. So we have overlap of a lot of problem, a lot of problem. Like here, you can see so based on, in one patient we have overlap with the uh, atopic, we have overlap with the um, asthma, overlap with the other disease. We overlap with the viral infection, 
uh, we have uh, uh, everything uh, smoke or uh, uh, smoking or not smoking, and that's why uh, the real world study now is very important. We can exactly define the roles of the phenol, and uh, can apply for other study as well. And that's why we have uh, we have done the study uh, with the, the cluster analysis of uh, phenol. Uh, and here you can see normally we. Normally, we have in K control study, we have compared with the normality and the patient with asthma. So it's very, very clear. We can see here the phenol um, uh, result. So, so in the patient with asthma, you can see here very clear with a high phenol. But in the normal patient, we have here with, with a low uh, phenol. But in the real world, it's not like that. And here we question overlap area here. So that's the reason why we carry out the study. And we, with the study, we have a quite novel approach for the study with the uh, unsupervised, that means we have no hypothesis before going to, to conduct the study. Normally, we have a hypothesis. We have to set up the methodology to test for hypothesis. That's a normal way. But in here, we didn't do that. We just only use uh, cluster analyzing yep. and we uh, we uh, and we take care of all of the variable here like age, phenol, CANO and other cate uh, categorical factors like uh, ethnicity but here is quite small cohesion so uh, we, 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 um, we, 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 we uh, skip that uh, analysis for this and we take care for the HOP or not we take care for the patient with uh, smoking or not smoking and patient with a symptom like a coughing or not, with rhinitis or not. So, um, and you can see here's the cluster. And how about the data exploration? I uh, think to, thank to expert of uh, statistician, uh, uh, summarized by uh, Professor Tuan, and we have a very beautiful um, uh, data. And here we, we have all of Patient with uh, with a list of the uh, cluster here with HOP, we have a uh, 60 patient in uh, of uh, uh, 100, 178, and we have uh, 125 patient with a cough, and only 10 patient uh, with a cigarette smoking. But uh, this is one the limitation of study because sometimes we miss uh, to taking history of the uh, smoking uh, habit uh, from the patient. And here we have a uh, number of the each uh, cluster. So it look uh, quite complicated, but uh, looking at the color here, we can get the number uh, correctly. And here we have a uh, uh, pairwise linear uh, correlation. And we can, uh, we can see here with the, uh, with the different cluster, and we check for the, the roles of the phenol, CANO, and journal, and you can see uh, for C CNO is quite different from the phenol and the journal here, and very difficult to 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 establish uh, to to distinguish the the the, uh, the 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 cluster here. You can you can see if the upper airway is no different between uh, between two groups uh, with the high or the low CNO in in the patient, but. Uh, for the phenol and uh, journal, we can see clearly about exactly in the basin with the rhinitis, with the asthma, and uh, yeah. So you can see the overlap uh, error is less to compare with the, here. We can overlap the very the, the overlap is very big area. So very difficult. That means very difficult to uh, distinguish between the two problems, uh, yes or no. And here, this, this is a, a correlation between, that's a pairwise correlation. And we, we can see here so no correlation between uh, uh, height and age, no, uh, no correlation between uh, uh, here with the uh, uh, phenol and uh, CNO. But we have a very strong correlation between journal and uh, phenol. You can see here. So very, very strong correlation. That's very important uh, finding. And here we, we test for the, the, the correlation, and we have a, 
uh, Jono here and Fino here with the R and uh, 0 0.98. So very, very strong correlation. Okay, with the uh, cluster, clustering analysis, we have find the, uh, finding the fin, uh, probe topies. And here we cluster one with the patient, a young patient, and with the high phenol and CINO and journal, and high rates of atopy and rhinitis. But uh, uh, contrarily, we have an older patient group again with the lower and with less atopy and rhinitis. And active uh, cigarette smoke, uh, smoking. And here, I show about the two clusters, with the cluster two and cluster one. And here, you can see, uh, yeah, we, we have no, uh, we, we very, it's no correlation between eight to compare with the high or low phenol and CNO here, and with the with the cluster one here, with the A to B, you can see here the phenol. The A to B is normally, we have a lot of patients here with the error of the high phenol, but uh, almost patients in the cluster two uh, with the less than 50. Yeah. And we, 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 test, uh, we tested for the, the correlation between pheno and journal in cluster one and cluster two as well, and we have here very, uh, very strong correlation. Yeah. But here we, test, we tested for the pheno correlated or not with the CNO, and we can hear, we can see here the dot very, very uh, speckle. It's not very strong correlation. So we, we, we didn't see the lie here. Uh, the light correlation between uh, pheno and CNO. You know. Yeah. And, yep. And here uh, we have uh, three cluster here with the, the um, we, we test for the, the cluster with eight uh, um, characteristic here with the uh, eight bit or not. Uh, we don't know and we know about exactly uh, eight bit. And here we have eight to bit group and you can see here. Uh, uh, with the low uh, pheno, we have uh, almost all the patient here with, uh, uh, with, with without any uh, with with uh, uh, that's a not atopic uh, patient that without any um, sensitization to the, the allergen or not a symptom of the atopic um, uh, disease. And here, almost the patient with the high uh, um, high pheno, so. Uh, they have atopic uh, uh, status, and that you can see um, with the smoke here. Sorry, sorry, with smoke here. Um, yeah, that's a limitation of study I, I, I mentioned before because we 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 miss uh, the data to um, yeah to, to to analyze for this, and we have to fix this problem in the next. And with the cluster analysis. And we're matching with the symptom, we're matching with the disease. And we have here this one, this, uh, uh, that's, um, we can, you can see here, for example, for asthma, we have uh, almost half of the patient with the low and uh, almost half patient with the high. So I, I, I will explain it later on. And here we look at the COPD, all the patients with COPD with the low uh, phenol. So very important and very good uh, graph here. You can see and you can matching with the DZ and we, we know about the real roles of the phenol in, in real, the real one study. And uh, take a message here, we have an uh, unglyly K-control control study. We have very, very, very uh, tr uh, strong the, the result, but here we have uh, with a standard, uh, standalone and cross-sectional measurement of phenol, we maybe it's unspecific for, for the DZ. And with the pheno, and uh, we, we have a analysis, extended analysis of uh, CNO, journal, and combination with other f lung function tests, we can uh, get better support to diagnose for the, 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 the disease, I mean, uh, and uh, for the differential diagnostic. Thank you so much.